Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome oopsie, to Lincoln at Midnight. Tonight, I thought I'd share with you a cocktail called The Naked Lady. Yes, indeed. Now, this is something that uh, you shouldn't be embarrassed to order at a bar or at a pub. If it's a cocktail pub that does cocktails. Naked Lady. Yes, this is a cocktail. It's quite classic. I think it goes, dates back for a few decades. Um, it involves, what have I got here? White rum and martini, vermouth. This is a type of wine. Yes, vermouth. So I am going to, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to add ice to my. Cocktail glass, obviously to chill it. Yes. This is a uh, that lovely. Flower. Yeah, actually. And now, very simple, add ingredients into a cocktail shaker and shake it. Shake it, shake it. So first of all, add my ice. So what we need is about um, my measuring cap. So what we need here is about, this is a double a 50 milliliter shaker. I wanted about uh, 40 mils or so. So I'm going to take a, just shy of the top of white rum. Like so. And exactly the same equal measure of uh, white vermouth. Mmm. -hmm. So you can be drunk as a liqueur if you want. Uh, best served chilled, rather nice. Um, obviously, an ingredient in martinis themselves. A small ingredient, but an ingredient nevertheless. Yes. Equal parts. White rum. White rum. Now, we need a little bit of a dash of apricot brandy liqueur. This is a, if you like brandy. This is nothing like it. If you like apricots, hopefully you'll appreciate this. It has a slight hint of apricots, a slight hint of brandy. It's just a rather nice cheeky liqueur. So just a, just a dash, a small amount. Not a, not a large one. It's crazy. And then the same amount, just a dash of grenadine. Grenadine, oh, new bottle. Um, yes, so it's just a grenadine. Obviously, a, um, a liqueur made from pomegranates. If my uh, information is correct, uh, in, um, in France, maybe there is somebody out there that could confirm this for me. Uh, grenadine, or is grenade in French, sort of grenade, because pomegranates look like little grenades. I think there is a bit of a French history. I could be making it up. The chances are I am. Please, if you want to, uh, let me know if I am. And, oh, so lemon juice. Just a small, a small dash. I've got half a lemon here. I mean, I don't have any uh, shaker or anything. No, just a, just, just a small few drops. That same amount of, uh, oh, look at that now. And, oh, bit of a spurting out there. Oh, my goodness me. Now, so I then take my uh, strainer, put my cap on, and you shake it, shake it. And if you want to be naked with the naked ladies, which is the cocktail of the name of this cocktail, you'll probably be thrown out of the pub. So you just shake it and fully dressed, of course. Yes, take your cocktail glass, tip out the ice. Lovely, look at that condensation. On the glass, I get excited. I like a good naked lady. Drink. And uh, anyway, moving on, moving on. There you go. Rich. Color. And I'm just going to garnish it. I have already prepared a. Uh, I, I, I put a small amount of uh, of um, 
There we can, I think you can see that there, a little twist of lemon on a cocktail stick. Just a garnish in there, look at that. And there you have it, one naked lady. Not bad. I may have overdone it on the uh, grenadine. Whoops. Um, that's not bad. Excuse me. Mm. Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody else. Rather nice, rather nice, cheeky little cocktail. Fairly sweet. Um, doesn't taste like alcohol, it tastes just like a, a sweet, fruity punch by Danis. Anyway, I've got my, my pink lady, no, sorry, not pink lady, wrong. Naked lady, naked lady cocktail, got my gin and tonic. Good night everybody, happy cocktail making sessions, stay safe, have a good week. Bon nuit.